everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week we're going to continue on with our Christmas theme. So I've got another little Christmas project that we're going to do. This is a really super quick and easy one. It actually only requires three stamps. So absolutely uh, a super easy project. Okay, so we're going to use the mailbox. This is the Blooming Mailbox set. So we're going to use this one. And then in the Birdhouse set, we're going to use this tiny, tiny little foliage right here. And then in our flower set, we're going to use the little wild, um, the daisy bunch right here. So that's all it's going to take. And we're going to create this really cute, simple little um, Christmas painting. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start out by inking the mailbox. And we're only going to ink part of it. So there's some things we're going to leave off. And I'll show you what those are. So we're going to start by inking this. We're going to get the side. And I'm using the 86 African Violet. And I want that piece in there. So we're just going to get the outside and we're, we're leaving the top line. These three lines where the posts are, we're going to leave those off and this line in the center, we're going to leave that off. Okay, so now we're going to stamp that off because we want the image to be really light. So we're going to stamp this off now and we're going to ink it again with the sepia because we want that old um, rustic galvanized mailbox look. Okay, so we're coming back over this again. And remember, we don't want this line in here. We don't want the top and we don't want the post at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to stamp that off one more time. Okay, that looks good. Now we're ready to stamp it in the center of our paper. Get a good firm impression. Don't push down too hard. Just a good, even, firm pressure. Okay, that looks perfect. So now let's start out by pulling the color out of the lines. This is always our first step. So we're gonna kind of drag this color out underneath here. And you can see we've got this really cool looking gray color coming out. Follow the little flag under here. Right under here like that. And we don't have to do too much to get started. We're just gonna do a little bit. So let's add some color now to the flag. And I am using the number 89 persimmon. Actually, let me put a little more color on here because we're gonna use that later. And so we're gonna take a little of this color now and color in the flag. Okay, super cute. Let's add a little sepia now and finish the post. And just add a little bit of color on here, just like that. I'm gonna take the fine tip now of my number 86 and I'm just gonna make a line across here because I wanna leave some space for a name. You can personalize this and put someone's name in here. That's a really fun idea and make it really special just for them. So I'm gonna leave that little line there and then I'm gonna come over here to the top and this is the 86 and I'm just gonna make a mound on the top and bring this down just kind of like a U, just like that. So we're creating a little snowy dome here. Okay, so now I wanna wash my brush off really good because I just used that red. Pinch it off and then I'm gonna come across here like this and just make a brush stroke right on the bottom and you can see how that just pops that up. It'll pop this little name plate up too. Okay, just like that. That's about all we have to do right here. Okay, let's go on. So now we're gonna add the wreath to the bottom and we're just gonna sort of pencil in a little um, pattern for us here or just a little guideline and I'm just using a nickel. So just use a nickel, put it about in the center and just draw a little circle around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see mine isn't perfect. And that'll sort of give us a guideline as to where the wreath is going. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the little flowers and these are the wildflowers from the, um, the flower set. And we're gonna use that same crimson again. So this is um, actually called persimmon, number 89. And we're just gonna ink a single flower, just one. And we're gonna still walk it in a circle. So about five times. One, two, three, four, five. See, just like we do with the, with the flowers and the foliage, we're still gonna get it in here a bunch of times. And you don't have to be perfect about this. Just put one more down in here. That looks pretty good. 
Now we're gonna start by, uh, now we're gonna finish by adding the foliage. So this is that tiny little foliage, and we're just gonna put this in here now. And let me just position my paper so I can really get this in here. So we're just gonna keep inking it. One, two, three, four, five. Keep turning your paper. One, two, three, four, five. And the center, you can see where the end of the little uh, foliage is, is in the center. So I'm just kind of turning my paper. This is a really fun way to make a wreath. Super cute and easy. Just kind of continue it all the way around. Can add a little more in here like that. Okay, so now we're ready to add our water. Dip your brush and pinch it off. And start with the red first. That's the darkest color. Let's just blend that red out. Just kind of dab at it. Just like this. Okay, dip your brush and, and clean it off really good after you've been in that red. And then come back and blend the green. Just kind of jump your brush around. You're really not uh, painting anything. You're just kind of jumping your brush and softening the lines. And we'll come back afterwards and just erase that, that little pencil line. But it's kind of given us a good guideline so that we, we can stay in a circle. Okay, so we've got our little wreath done in here. Let's add a little detail. Just make a little um, circle, just like this. And a straight line, just like that. And we're gonna, we're gonna sort of tie this little wreath to the mailbox and then bring it out and around like that. Okay, let me show you that one more time because sometimes doing things freehand is can be really intimidating. So all we did was we made a little circle like this and a line and then we made a little line from the wreath, just like that, and brought it out to something decorative like that. Super easy, don't stress out about stuff like this. Honestly, this is not a big deal. And if it's, if it's too stressful, just leave it off. You don't have to do it. Okay, so now we're gonna add some detail to the center. And I'm gonna have you do some freehand work again. This is really, really easy, so don't be intimidated by this, but it's super fun to add little details like this. Okay, so we're going to start out with our 86 pen and we're going to draw a line straight down the center and keep the line light. Don't just press down with your marker. I'm using the fine tip. Don't just press down like this and make it really dark. Go really light. And then we're going to make another line right next to it a little lower, just a little lower and another one even lower still. So you've got three lines in the center of your mailbox. Now keep your hands straight and bring that line clear over to the side. Just like that, and do the same at the bottom. Just like that, and you've drawn three really cute envelopes. And then from this corner back, that's where the bottom of the mailbox is. So you can put that, that little line back in. Okay, so let's add some color to those now. And you can see how easy that was. So I'm gonna clean my brush off really good, make sure I don't have any uh, residual colors in there and I'm gonna add some red here to this little envelope you can add more envelopes in here too now that you know how to make them you can add a whole stack of them clean your brush off really good because we just came out of the red so this is the number 15 green of this color now to this little envelope. Try not to cross the lines. Keep that color inside the lines. It's really good not to, not to have that color bleed too much. Well, let's put one more detail in. So in this little white envelope, let's just make a little flap there and maybe one here on the green one. And then we can put a little um, postage stamp area on the red. And we are getting finished here. So let's just pull a little of this color out now from the mailbox. On the inside, just drag a little of this color over because this is the blue that we used when we created these little uh, envelopes. And so that color will just come out. 
and that will be perfect for inside. Let's add a little more to the inside of the mailbox here. And under here, this underneath here would be really dark. And let's add that little detail at the top. So I put my name in here, but you can put anyone's name in. And make it a really special gift for someone at Christmas. Really personalize your Christmas cards. And let's do one more thing. So let's add some background now. So I'm using a light blue, but you can use you can use the African violet. You can use any blue. You can um, add some snowflakes to the background if you want to. So all we're doing is just brushing in a little bit of color here. Keep it light. And just kind of brush that color all around. A little more under here. And we are almost finished. Let's just take a little eraser and erase this pencil line here. Take that off. The rest of it we can't see. And we are almost finished with our little design. Uh, go ahead and add some glitter to it. These little Christmas ones are so fun to add glitter to. So you can use a wink of Stella. You can use, um, I'm just using a little um, jelly roll. So a little glitter. I know it's, it's probably hard to see on the video, but the glitter adds a ton, especially in these little flowers here on the wreath. Super cute. Add that. Don't forget to sign and date. Put it on a card, personalize it, give it away, and someone is going to love it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.